Wow, you know, I don't usually meet uh, Teddy, but uh, Teddy, hi, how are you? I'm doing good. You're getting um, Africa Gathering again? We saw in Washington, D.C.? And London, yes. Uh, <laughs> how are you doing? I've been... Uh, You've long time, long time. You've been traveling quite a lot. Yeah, I've been doing I, things. Not, not as much as you have. <laughs> I hope you're planting trees to offset the We are, plan we are planting trees. We are planting trees. Good. So um, I heard about Connect for Climate, amazing stuff. You know, you've got a lot of followers on, on Facebook. Yes. So tell us about it a little bit. Uh, so you're going to Durban as well. So tell us about the, the project. So Connect for Climate is a campaign, a competition, and a community of people that care about uh, climate change. We have a photo and video competition that is inviting all 13 to 35 year olds um, on the continent to tell us in a visual way, in a, a photograph or a short video of about one minute, tell us how climate change affects your community, your family, uh, your country. Um, if you have an innovative solution to climate change, um, please share it with us in the story or, 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 um, or a video. Uh, you can also, if, if you know, if you don't want to, you know, send us that information. You can engage with, you know, more than fifty thousand people that have joined our Facebook page. Just go to facebook.com uh, forward slash connect the number four climate connect for climate on Facebook um, and engage with the with, in the global conversation about solutions to climate change. Because one of the things that we need to understand about climate change is the fact that it's not so much the policy that's involved. It is the change in behavior that is involved because climate change is caused by our behavior, how we use and connect to the environment, and how we use and access the resources from the environment. Our behavior is very relevant to the solution uh, process, so we need to engage in conversation and best practices and share stories so that we know that, you know, um, Climate change affects someone in Ghana in a different way, perhaps, than it affects someone. Especially there's a there's a Accra flood right now in Accra. So. Exactly. And mm. how? What are the causes of those floods? How can we mitigate those floods? Are we cutting down trees? And if we are cutting down trees, uh, is that leading to soil erosion? Is soil erosion leading to um, worse agriculture? Um, what does that mean? What lessons can we learn from Ghana that we can apply in Mali, for example? But we can't do that unless we have that conversation. Um, and we need to have our voices registered. When we go to Durban mm -hmm. um, and later this month, we need to have Africa's voices Absolutely. represented there. Absolutely. It's not about the policy. I mean, if, if we really think about it, yeah, it's a complicated issue. And it getting is. over 200 countries to mm -hmm. agree on a solution mm -hmm. is going to take a really long time. In the meantime, what do we do? Mm. Right? Mm. What do we do? What can you and me do? Yeah. One of the things that we can do is change our behaviors. Mm. Pledge to change your behavior. Don't cut down trees. Mm. Access energy in another way. Mm. If there's a, for most of Africa, we use firewood as energy. Right? Firewood from trees. We fell down trees, entire forests. Um, in Uganda, we have mudslides, uh, for example. And that is uh, a direct result of us deep you know, massive deforestation for us to access energy to, you know, to uh, to create charcoal that most of us use in urban environments. Uh, what solutions can we do in the solar sector in renewable energies um, that we can create for most of these products, right? So, but we need to be able to share those. Uh, we need to be able to share those stories and those solutions and really talk about it in real time. We are going to be the most affected continent when it comes to climate change. Um, and if we don't start now, we'll have a very, very difficult future really engaging with the rest of the world. Excellent, Teddy. I think this message is so clear. Um, and uh, thank you so much for explaining the, the Connect for Climate um, challenge. Um, you know, and and uh, you know, I hope that everybody is listening to this video now will understand you know, why we're going to Durban as African people. So again, Teddy Mush, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. We'll see you in Durban. Thank you for thank the you. opportunity. We'll thank see you, you there. Thank you.